All right, now, listen, this video is going to be a little annoying, and I'm pretty annoyed my damn self, so I'll tell you right now, it's going to be all audio. I mean, I'm going to use the visuals because your girl worked really hard on it. Um, unfortunately, I, well, well, let me, let me rewind. I pre-filmed a beautiful video for August 25th, which was my birthday, pre-filmed it, and I edited and everything and had it ready to go because i was going to go to dominican republic punta cana oop. <laughs> i was going to go on vacation and i purposely wanted to be intentional about posting this video on august 25th um because i was turning 25 so um the video is titled 25 things i've learned since turning 25 that's probably why i clicked on this video let me just tell you this is not the original i have to find redo this whole thing so what i'm gonna do is y'all gonna see my cute video because listen i dressed up and everything for the video because the point was to look back on it and be really happy about it and when i get older to look back on it and hear everything i had to say see my beautiful face and i <laughs> see how much i had grown and whatever a little bit about the trip since it already freaking happened um you know i went to punta cana for seven days with my hubby um it's my boyfriend not my husband but um <laughs> Uh, went with my long-term boyfriend and we had a blast um he's like my best friend so it felt like i went with my best friend it was like our first bestie boyfriend trip together very like um like a long trip not like a little tiny one so we went for a whole week and <laughs> there was some ghetto ness that happened of course when you go to a touristy area which i had to learn the hard way but there's a lot of beautiful moments and i'm very grateful very happy that i went very excited about the experience i'm planning to put some video footages here some clips some photos and i really stepped out of my comfort zone here um my boyfriend is a tourist and i love to just mention that because i'm a virgo Hy what, not, not hypothetically what is it stereotypically they say virgos and um tauruses are very compatible i would say i agree with that um the reason i mentioned he's a taurus is because he's really a daredevil and he really not that he forces me but he encourages me a lot to really just step out of my comfort zone and do things because it'll be good for me in the end like you'll you'll regret not having done it i am gonna and put little clips of me like jumping off a bow and girl in a buggy all types of things that i would probably be scared of doing but i was like you know what i'm 25 and i'm sorry if my voice is shaky but i literally just finished my coffee it's six in the afternoon and i probably shouldn't have drank that but um yeah i just really want to finish this video and tell you guys a little about the trip since it already happened i really want to use my footage so i'm gonna use this time to show you all of it and it was beautiful we did so many things and yeah i can't even like uh, i don't want to make a whole video about it you know what i'm saying because this is really a video about 25 things i've learned since turning 25 but i did want to show you guys a little bit about my trip and it was definitely a great time and i even did a handstand listen i know that you're probably like okay well you did all these great things but what really stuck out to me is that i did a handstand for the first time <laughs> um in a pool and my boyfriend was encouraging me and i was like i've never been able to do this like i i'm not gonna do it like it's just not gonna work and i don't know if it was just all the drinks but I was like, you know what i'm determined and it got done period so that was my 25 year old accomplishment <laughs> i'm done but anyways thank you for sticking for the intro of this and getting a preview of my birthday um i did create or sorry filmed a lot of curly hair content while on vacation because you know the hair was really giving you know and if this is your first time seeing a video of mine it's usually not this hectic but i do post hair videos hair content videos and life advice videos and this one kind of is more for life advice um coming of age kind of thing but yeah speaking of curly hair content like i said when i was out there my hair was really flourishing i was expecting it to do the complete opposite but really surprised me so you know i took advantage of that the tan is popping y'all probably see it in the next video i hope um and yeah let's just get into this um the actual video but you'll see i'm gonna put the clip of me um doing the original video and i didn't even tell y'all the reason that this stupid video well it's a beautiful content but the stupid freaking i'm never doing this anymore like i'm just gonna pay for a subscription i looked up a youtube no copyright video it was a beautiful song i was like okay there's clearly no issues here it's not like oh beyonce just straight up like you know obviously that's gonna be a copyright claim 
girl i did this whole beautiful beautiful video i put the song in the back i delete all original footage because i try to make up space for my camera you know for the the trip and uh, when i'm at the airport it says copyright claim and i'm like didn't y'all say no copyright and then I, that was the first time that's ever happened to me so i really looked into it and i learned that they could even like make it so no one can even find your video and i was like you're not about to do me like that like i put a lot of hard work into this video so that is why you're gonna see the clip of me talking but it's not gonna match my voice at all but <laughs> listen we're gonna use this footage okay so anyways here are 25 things i've learned since turning 25 all right so i have a whole list written down i'm gonna read them one by one i might have extra notes for them i might not but these are things that i have learned through my experiences with people friends family siblings cousins um friends partners um really haven't had partners like that but like maybe guys i talk to um my friend situations like just a lot like literally everything i've gone through through life up to up until this point um and these are just things that i have learned things that i want to pass down to you guys things that i want to look at in the future and say oh why the hell did i say that no i'm just kidding um things i'll look into the future and be like you know what i'm glad i i want i followed that or you know i'm glad that i felt that way or oh i've moved on from this feeling you know so i just think that it's very helpful and it's gonna be an audio but just pretend just pretend because the video is very cute i very much like the the red dress and the hair but anyways let's get started so first things first common sense is not so common you can't care about someone more than they can care about themselves let me start numbering these out so that i don't get lost number three always have a plan b sometimes c aka Always stay ready so you never have to get ready. I know y'all have heard of that one. Four, keeping emotionally mature and wise people around you will be very beneficial to you in the end. Five, your health does matter and you need to learn what health means to you, not what you were taught. Six, figure out what your own morals and beliefs are and don't only stick to the ones you were taught, meaning... We grow up and what we learn is what we're taught from our parents that was taught to them by their parents, blah, 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 blah. It's a cycle. Learn what you really like. And if it aligns with what your parents taught you, great. And, you know, less self-work. If it doesn't, really figure out who you are and look into that. Seven, follow your dreams and do whatever you can and whatever you have to do to achieve them. I'm serious about this one. Like, your dreams are so important to you. They are at your core, who you are, what you really want to be, what you aspire to be. Like, dreams are just really <coughs> dreams <coughs> not me choking up dreams are very important i feel like and i feel like the minute someone gives up on the dreams it's very sad so i feel like dreams give you passion so never give up your passion when you give up your dreams or giving up on your passions and when you don't have passion for anything i'm sure you guys see what that happens what that makes a person act like and what their life ends up like number eight stay away and do not communicate with others if you are a projector regulate your mood and energy first number nine don't let people show you who they really are more than once if it doesn't align with you i think that's self-explanatory number 10 don't be afraid of the gym and if it's that scary go at low times i was a scaredy cat of the gym um, the reason I mentioned this one is because weight has been something that's very big in my life um, for my family, emphasizing it to me. And then eventually it was just a problem I had to deal with. And um, it's something I have a healthier relationship with versus before. And yes, the gym used to terrify me, but now it's just a place that I say it's a place for mental health clarity. And the bonus is that you can probably get a cute from it too so anyways um 11 <laughs> never ask why you weren't invited somewhere people know why they make certain decisions take that with you and decide how you want to move forward i'm gonna I'm let you say on that one okay 12 your parents all right that was disgusting excuse me i just burped 12 your parents are never always right and they don't have every answer this one was a tough pill for me to swallow um unfortunately i was told my parents are always right and i when i grew up i was like oh yeah so if you're a parent please stop telling your kids that because yeah number 13 never quit a job without having another one lined up like that's the worst thing you can do very terrifying don't do that to yourself 14 buy slash buy and toss new underwear 
um, every three to four months and get good everyday underwear. So I don't know if anyone knows this, like my ladies out there. I don't know if this applies to men too. I don't really, I don't know. I'm a woman. So um, things, germs get trapped in your underwear. I don't know if anyone's ever told anyone this, but I know it's common to know this and some women just don't know. So you do not need to be hanging on for dear life to your ripped underwears that you've had for five years. Like, do you know how many germs is in that? Like, I just, I'm saying it, like, not because I think I'm better than you and that I'm a cleaner bitch than you. Like, that's not the point. It's, it's, I want you to be aware and to not harm yourself and your pH balance and all that. So I know it's pretty, like, uh, kind of random in this list, but having, <clears throat> having a pH balance that is aligned is just so relieving. And <clears throat> now that I'm older, I'm like, girl, that's my priority is having good mental health and a good pH balance because when that pH balance is off of whack, I just be so pissed off. I was gonna say I'd be stank like attitude, but I was like, that's probably not a good word when you're talking about vaginal pH balance. <laughs> Anyways, number 15, buy lingerie for yourself. It's just fun, it's cute. Number 16, always make your intentions clear with people and acts the same of others to avoid miscommunication this is like the biggest hack for life 17 listen before responding and then react last number 18 start working once you legally can this is my opinion this is not a fact um i personally started working at 13 years old some people would say why did you do that you were mad young my mom has always been a hard worker from what i could see um she always looked like a hustler she always made work seem fun and i kind of just wanted to have a job like her and then obviously i got a job and i don't have any complaints about it like it was a super low risk it was it was just like a camp job and i learned about money having a check making co-worker friends like i think that um doing this early is very fun it, you know you will learn workplace etiquette you will make co-worker friends you will also be able to learn about saving up and i think that's a great skill to have at 13 because i feel like people that start working at like 20 mm, there's a disconnect there but that is just my opinion but everybody i know usually started working at like 15 and then up but i started at 13 no problem there nobody forced me to work either i was just like oh i want to so <laughs> the virgo in me what the virgo in me i said virgo anyway 19 look into people's first-hand experiences with things understand how things impact others i feel like as i grow up i just realize how blind people are how ignorant people are how much people just don't really care um and how they're really in their own bubble and i've just always been that kind of person that's always been very aware and i think that it's a good skill to have is to be a little more compassionate empathetic and more understanding of what people have to go through um basically step into their shoes number 20 barely ever assume 21 always say how you feel and i'm dead always say how you feel no matter what um even if you get called soft say how you feel 22 learn how to use store and aim a gun protection if you're a woman especially i know it might be scary but Sometimes we got to know how to do certain things. 23, always have your phone charged, like, especially as a woman, as a person, any, whatever. Have your phone charged. Like, it's so unsafe to be without your phone charged because it's it's a means of communication. I'm not saying to have it charged to always be on Instagram. I'm saying emergencies happen, and when your phone is dead, like, not a good, not a good combo. 24, always be kind first. And 25, always be yourself change for no one and what's meant for you will always be for you so these are 25 things i've learned since turning 25 these are the same exact 25 things i said in my original video but as you know i got scammed i guess you know what lesson 26 i'll give you a bonus one don't use youtube non-copyright songs because they are they are no but um <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video um i hope you understood me and I hope I wasn't going too fast, but I was just like, honestly, I want to get this video over with. Um, not because I don't care for it, but because it was supposed to be posted a long time ago. And I still want to post it in August because it's my birthday month. And that was the point of it. You know what I'm saying? So I hope you like this video. If you like my little life advice, I do have a 
life advice series on my YouTube. Um, Zanji does tea. I post episodes. The goal is to post it every week, Wednesday or Thursday. Um, I do have a nine to five, so uh, I'm trying to keep up a schedule because I know how that YouTube algorithm works. So hope you like this video. Hope my future self likes this video and laughs at my stupid commentary. Um, if you like this video and watched all the way through, please give me a subscription, girl. It's very hard to get subscribers on YouTube, in my opinion. Um, I'm doing well on my other socials. If you want to follow those, I'd appreciate that. But, um, yeah, we're trying to get the YouTube up. Let's run this YouTube up. And, um, yeah, like I said, these are 25 things I've learned since turning 25. I'm filming this as I'm actually 25. Um, <laughs> and so far, I've been 25 for one week, and it's been a great time. So, um, we're going to keep the ball rolling and see what happens on year 26 so thank you for watching again please make sure to subscribe please give the video a like and it helps push the video to other people too who might be turning 25 and want some pointers and also if you did have an august birthday happy birthday to you if you had august 25th birthday happy birthday to us and if you have a birthday next month um happy birthday to you too <laughs> all right guys thank you for watching bye